Hello friends, myself Dr. Ajay Dikshit from Department of Business Economics, CK Thakur College, New Panvel. Friends, today we are going to study the players or the participants into the foreign exchange market. In last video, we have already studied what is meant by a foreign exchange, what is the meaning of foreign exchange, what are the definitions of foreign exchange market. Then we have studied the features or characteristics of foreign exchange market and we have also studied what are the functions of the foreign exchange market. Now we will see who are involved into the foreign exchange market. Who are the participants into the foreign exchange market? Who are the players into the foreign exchange market? For this, we have to see now one by one all those players or the participants into the foreign exchange market. Before going to see the players or the participants into the foreign exchange market, let us revise ourselves with the meaning of the foreign exchange market or the definition of foreign exchange market. The foreign exchange market provides physical and institutional structure through which the currency of one country is exchanged for that of another country's currency. As we know, every country will have different currency with different value. We have to exchange that currency, we have to uh, exchange that uh, monetary unit of one country into the monetary unit of other country and to exchange that currency there is a requirement of a certain structure that structure is called as institutional or the physical structure institutional structure means the setting up of the institutions like we have banks we have investment firms we have central banks mm. all these are helpful in transferring your currency into the currency of the other country and all the physical infra infrastructure of these banks will be the part of this overall system that is called as foreign exchange market there is another definition friends of foreign exchange market foreign exchange market is a mechanism where various national currencies are purchased or sold what is mean by national currency? National currency means currency of the respective country. Like India is having Indian rupee. India is having Indian rupee. That is our national currency. Pakistan is also having the rupee. But that rupee is called the Pakistani rupee. Pakistani rupee and Indian rupee, they are same into the name but they are different into their values they are different in terms of their printing likewise we have the national currency of USA United States of America hmm. that is dollar hmm. Canada is also having the dollar but Canadian dollar and American dollar they are different in their value in their printing in their paper but their name is same but only the name is same that does not mean they are at par they are not similar they are different even their printings are different everything of that dollar of America and Canada will be different like euro is the currency of European Union so every nations is having its own currency we call that as national currency that national currency can be purchased or sold that national currency can be purchased or sold where it is sold or purchased that is called as the foreign exchange market now let us come to the players or the participants into the foreign exchange market the first participant or the player into the foreign market foreign exchange market is the central banks we are saying here banks banks means the plural means there are number of central banks 
in india we have the practice of using central bank as our reserve bank of india mm. sometimes we call it as central bank we sometimes we call it as reserve bank of india mm. but that central bank is for india only like that there is a central bank of pakistan also there is a federal system reserve system in america which is their central bank in england there is a bank of england so like that every country will have its own central bank every country will have its own central bank and all these central banks of different countries of the world they are the first participant into the foreign exchange market because they are issuance of the national currencies also like reserve bank of india is issuing the rupees in india as our national currency it is issued by the reserve bank of india in america dollar will be issued by the federal reserve system which is a central bank of america so first source the first participant or the first player into the foreign exchange market is the central bank second major participant or player into the foreign exchange market is the commercial banks we have in india state bank of india icici banks or other banks like that in japan they can have their own commercial banks in israel they can have their own commercial banks in america they can have their own commercial banks so commercial banks of the throughout the world will be the participant into the foreign exchange market because they are already related with the money so money it can be of india money it can be of america money it can be of european union it can be used everywhere throughout the world so these commercial banks have to purchase and sell the different currencies every day every time so they are again a major participant into the foreign exchange market mm. the third participant into the foreign exchange market is the investment firms now in india there can be hundreds of investment firms in america there can be hundreds of investment firms in europe there can be hundreds of investment firms they will invest in india they will invest in russia they will invest in japan like that japanese investment firms can invest in india in china in indonesia in malaysia in singapore in hong kong in australia so they have to go abroad for investment and if they want to go abroad then they have to make the exchange of the currency of their own country with the exchange of that particular country if they want to go into the hong kong they have to purchase the chinese currency there if they want to go into the singapore they have to purchase the dollar of the singapore so they have to be there into the foreign exchange market so they are also a participant or the players into the foreign exchange market then we have corporations corporations means the private firms private companies like we have multinational corporations reliance is a multinational corporation microsoft is a multinational corporation then google is a multinational corporation multinational corporation means the company or corporation which is working in more than two countries of the world so they are working in india also they are working in america also they are working in ussr also they are working into the uh, european union also so if they have to work in more than two countries then they will come across more than two currencies also of the different countries and they have to pay the salary of their workers suppose in they are there into the japan they are there into the rus they are there into the indonesia they have to pay the money to their workers in their own currency so they have to go into the foreign exchange market and they have to exchange the currency so they are also a major participant or the player into the foreign exchange market then we have non banking financial institutions as like that of banks or investment firms there can be non banking financial institutions or non banking financial companies also who are taking the deposits from the world from the entire world and they are investing their funds into the entire world so at international level if projects are there these nbfcs will go and invest there and they will get that money return back also after few years 
so if they are going into the other countries then they have to convert their currency into that particular country's currency so they have to come into the foreign exchange market so they are also the participant or the player into the foreign exchange market then we have retail clients retail clients means those who are involved into the retail transactions of goods and services they may be importers they may be exporters if we want to import something from america first of all we have to go into the foreign exchange market we have to convert the currency into the dollar then we can purchase something from america importer have to do all these things same is true for exporter if i am exporting something to the america and it is sold into the america and i want to take back that money to the india but i got that money in terms of dollar because it is sold into the america so i received the dollar but in india there is no use of the dollar inside the geographical boundaries of india there is no use of dollar so i have to convert those dollars into the rupees and then and only then that rupees can be useful for me in india so either exporter or importer they will be called as the retail clients and those retail clients are also the part or the participant of the foreign exchange market then foreign exchange brokers as friends we know if you want to get the license for your two wheeler or four wheeler you need a agent you need a broker who can do all the paperwork on your behalf and you will get the license directly like that in international market also if you want to take the a uh, foreign currency there is no need to go for yourself to go into that market and take the currency on your behalf somebody will go and will take the dollar for you those people will be called as the brokers those people will be called as the agents sometimes they can be registered brokers there can be unregistered brokers also but those brokers will give you a certain amount as a fees for their brokerage as their brokerage and they will give you the foreign currency then we have speculators speculators are the special people who are not retail clients who are not the brokers who are not the central bank or commercial bank but they are having only one objective of getting the profit from this market they don't want to purchase anything from the market they want just the profit from this foreign exchange market now how they will get the profit from the foreign exchange market by the ups and downs into the foreign exchange market suppose today the value of dollar in terms of rupees is 83 rupees per dollar it means if i have to purchase dollar today from the foreign exchange market i have to pay 83 rupees and suppose in tomorrow it happens that there can be a expectation of increase into the price of the dollar from 83 rupees it can be 83 84 rupees in that situation these speculators will come into the foreign exchange market and they will purchase the dollars suppose they have purchased 1 lakh dollars from the market today for 83 rupees so they require 83 lakhs rupees so they will invest 83 lakhs rupees into the foreign exchange market and they are purchasing 1 lakhs rupee 1 lakhs dollars from the market tomorrow if the price of the dollar becomes 84 rupees from 83 rupees it becomes 84 rupees what these speculators will do they will go into the market and sell the dollar tomorrow so by selling the dollar tomorrow they will get one extra rupee behind every dollar so if they have purchased 1 lakh dollar today and tomorrow they are selling 1 lakh tomorrow they are selling those 1 lakh dollars into the market they will get the 84 rupees for that so for every dollar they are getting one additional rupee so that is their 1 rupee benefit for every dollar and for 1 lakh dollar they will have the benefit of the 1 lakhs rupees so without doing anything they have got 1 lakhs rupees of benefit so for this benefit these speculators will come into the foreign exchange market like that we have arbitragers also arbitragers are those 
banks mostly who are taking the benefit of interest rate differentials so while purchasing the foreign currency into the foreign market the arbitrators can give the loans to such peoples and they are charging a certain rate of interest that interest rate differential is their benefit as speculator will have the benefit of the value of the currency arbitrators will have the benefit of differential into the interest rate so arbitrators will get the benefit of the interest rate differentials so they are also beneficiary of this market they are again not importer or exporter or any other participant but they are participating into the foreign exchange market to get the interest rate benefits interest rate differentials benefit so these are some of the players or the participants into the foreign exchange market thank you